are W.D. Curry, and he says that his father put him in a hunting, a hunting class, which is actually a title of the NRA Safe Hunting Course, and he put him in there to expert to, until he was an expert, just to show that he was able to use a gun and be and cooperate with it and not be con destructive with it. Another example is Philan. He also his is more of an opinion. He says if you take away guns, then in history, history is the only thing that's giving you an argument. You can't take away guns and say oh, this is for the good. It actually has a lot of bad things to it, too. So in conclusion, guns shouldn't be banned because they're not completely bad. They actually have more good when you think about it. Okay, they say that um that they make guns for um protection, but actually some people take guns and like kill people for absolutely no reason. So just a gun. Um, and Right, well, yeah, it is fun, but it's actually bad for other people because they're the they ones that do not do anything. Um, um, the guns, um, to say that, um, that people kill people but not guns, um, a guns, So people use guns for crime and robbery, for passion, for access to guns, increase fatality, fatality. Um, well, probably, um, well, not a lot, but um, some, like smaller kids, find um, guns and probably purses or um, drawers anywhere. They could be like playing with it and they don't know if it's open and they will um, like uh, sh uh, I'd accidentally shoot um, shoot like their mom or their mom or dad Okay. 
because, um, well, That's time, right? No. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, let's. I want to hear from the captains first, and then we'll hear from the. Hi, my name is Celine, and today we're going to be debating on whether plastic bags should be banned in or should they not be banned. My group is debating on whether plastic bags or plastic bags should be banned. Ten countries have already banned plastic bags such as Switzerland and Australia, and this is why. It takes up to a thousand years for plastic bags to degrade, and when they do degrade, it's the remnants of the bag are toxic because of all the chemicals that was used to make the bag. Every mile of ocean has 46,000 remnants of plastic bag, or any plastic of the matter. All this plastic can harm animals, and I mean, come on, who doesn't love animals? And if you don't love animals, well, I mean, you can still, they can still suffocate humans. Animals can mistake these plastic for food. For example, say you're a little sea turtle swimming along and you're hungry and you're craving your favorite snack, a jellyfish. You see something floating and you think, oh, yay, a jellyfish. When you start eating it, you realize that's not a jellyfish, that's a plastic bag. Your fate has already been decided. Like the other day, Annabelle and I were watching a video on why plastic bags are bad. It showed a little sea turtle eating a pla plastic bag. We all know how that ended. When an animal has died from eating the plastic, its carcass remains and the plastic still is there waiting to kill another victim. In conclusion, I think that plastic... Oh, yes. Oh, well, you said that plastic bags... Um well, that a lot of plastic bags are in the ocean, but there's also other trash, not only plastic bags, so it's not only plastic bags. Yes, but that's only, that it is the second most trash in the ocean, aside from cigarette butts. So in conclusion, I believe that plastic bags should be banned because they are harmful to animals and it takes up to a thousand years to degrade. Thank you. and our group will be debating why we should keep plastic bags. Well, one of the things we might trade for plastic bags are paper bags because they say they're more eco-friendly, but it takes more energy to produce and deliver them than it does plastic bags. For example, oh, yeah. Actually, the amount of petroleum jelly used to make 14 plastic bags could easily drive a car a mile, which would be another efficient source of energy. Yeah, but what would you use in place of the plastic bags? Reusable bags? Yeah, but technically, bags. Um, plastic bags are reusable. You can recycle them. Um, for example, no, thank you. Um, it takes 500 plastic bags in, in one size box, as it does 50 paper bags, so it uses a lot more energy. Um, and another bag they say that we could trade for plastic bags are cloth bags, but plastic bags are a lot cheaper, and you can buy more for less. Um, and this, yes, Celine. Do you say that other cloth bags can cost a lot more than plastic bags? Well, they only cost a dollar, and if we replace the um, plastic bags with those, then they'll be free. Yeah, but the plastic bags are already free, so you wouldn't have to use that dollar, and that dollar would add up for people. Um, and you also said that plastic bags, um, well, they really are littering, but um, it's not the plastic bag's fault. I mean, it's the people that are controlling the plastic bag. And in supermarkets, um, they have bins that where you can place the plastic bags, and then they'll recycle them. Um, and we actually use plastic bags a lot, whether we realize it or not. Like Fatima, for example, she brings her lunch in a plastic bag every day and reuses it. Um, so, thank you. In conclusion, oh, well, thank you. Um, in conclusion, I think we should keep plastic bags because, well, what will we use in place of them? Thank you. Hi, my name is 
because I've been and I'm debating on the side that plastic bags should be banned. Uh, about one trillion bags are made per year worldwide, and China uses three million bags per day of the, the one trillion, and that adds up pretty quickly. Uh, one million ba bags are made every minute, uh, and they're made, made still now. Uh, out of the one tr trillion bags made per year, 90% are thrown away and not are th um, and some of them aren't even thrown away properly. You, some of them could be just wa you walk out and throw on that side. Yes, but that is the people's fault. That's not the plastic bag's fault. I mean, the people could. We should just enforce that, um, well, we should, if they're bins, then we should just enforce that they can recycle them and reuse them. Well, it, it's, a, um, the plastic bag stay, stays around for th almost a thousand years. And it, you could, uh, uh, people in the future can still see the warm bag that you throw away. And it stays around for a long time. shopping and us usually a, a, a family goes out shopping like once a week. Mm -hmm. If they go out like that every weekend, they would use about 780 bags. Mm -hmm. It costs four billion dollars to make make all those plastic bags a year and four it's about four billion dollars just being thro literally thrown away outside and it's 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 really harmful to the environment it takes a thousand years to for a plastic bag to degrade into into the soil and it it's because of it's what it's made of it doesn't go away as easily as other stuff clog up landfills even after a lot of years and yeah. Plastic bags are also cheaper to manufacture and they are completely reusable and recyclable. Yeah. Plastic bags actually cost consumers about four billion dollars a year. Okay, well if people lose their jobs because then sorry, okay. So people work at the manufacturers to make the plastic bags and if we did ban plastic bags, that way people would lose their jobs. So the unemployment rate would continue to not go very well. Yeah. Well, if you replace the jobs that people made making plastic bags and um, replace them with reusable bags, those jobs can be replaced with making reusable bags. Okay, that's a good point. Okay, so plastic bags are also used for a lot more than just groceries. Like for example, if you're building a house, they're also used to support structures. 
and they can also be used to align trash bags. So they have very a lot of uses. So like my team said, if we did ban plastic bags, then we wouldn't really have anything to replace them because we use them a lot more than we realize. They said that animals get killed in the ocean by plastic bags, but it's not really the only thing that does kill them. So it's not really the plastic bag's fault. So in conclusion, I think that plastic bags shouldn't be banned because they have a lot of uses and it's not really their fault that, you know, they're fucked.